Hello, Internet. It is Adam Malik Aaron Aaron, and welcome back to my Fall 2019 box office predictions. Today, we're going to be talking about Zombieland 2 Double Tap, which is a far more interesting sequel than Maleficent Mistress of Evil, but that's just my humble opinion. We're going to talk about the pros and cons about this movie's box office. So, Let's get right to it. Pros. This is the sequel to Zombieland, which came out a little more than 10 years ago. And when the first Zombieland was coming out, originally, it didn't have much going for it. Because, you know, horror comedies were generally seen as failures. I mean, unless you were part of the scary movie brand or you were some type of spoof. Even then, those movies died off real fast. Uh, None of the cast had any real drawing power. And zombie movies, when it comes to box office, they have a very, very, very low ceiling. But thanks to uh, clever writing, great humor, and one of the greatest cameos of all time, Zombieland was able to break uh, through that ceiling. It had a strong opening of $24 million, had good legs for the genre, uh, made $75 million domestic, $102 million Worldwide. Now that may not seem like much. In the grand scheme of things. It's not that big. But in terms of zombie movies. It was an absolute smash. Especially when it comes to horror comedies. In terms of zombie movies. Which you know. It says right here Hotel Transylvania. But I really don't count that. So it's kind of disqualified. I mean, the only movie that really destroyed that record was World War Z, but that was positioned more as a straight-up action film, while Zombieland was more of an action-comedy-esque film. But still, Zombieland was a huge hit, at least, you know, in that genre, and it spawned a pretty good cult following. I mean, it it may not be as strong as other movies, but I say it still, still has a... Uh, decent sized following so 10 years later here we are we reached the sequel and I do believe the good word of mouth and the good reputation that Zombieland has will help the sequel because oh here's another thing the 10 year gap now normally this would be seen as a bad thing a really bad thing because what happens is uh, how do I say this As I've already stated in my Maleficent 2 video, the ideal time to release a sequel is two to three years after your predecessor, or even sooner than that, would be for the best. Any any time later than that, you're at a risk. Ten years is extreme risk, because there's a high chance that many people who liked Zombieland back then don't remember it anymore, they moved on... Or, you know, the people now who may not even, who didn't see Zombieland, they're going to look at this and be like, what is that? (laughs) But, again, I do think Zombieland's cult status, its strong cult cult status, will help it. Because now that's 10 years old, it's now seen as nostalgic. And nostalgia is a very powerful thing in today's entertainment industry i mean look at the box office for the lion king and aladdin and toy story 4 i mean all those movies just were just you know the blood of those movies was filled with nostalgia and that's the reason why all those movies did well obviously this is not going to do as well as those because you know duh (laughs) but i still think nostalgia will help this movie and the next thing is that since Zombieland, you know, all a lot of these actors, you know, Woody Harrelson, Jesse Eisenberg, Emma Stone, Abigail Breslin, they've been able to, um, what's the best way to say this, uh, improve their clout, especially Emma Stone. I mean, ever since Zombieland, she shot up. I mean, she was in the Amazing Spider-Man movies, which admittedly weren't very good. <laughs> I mean, she had Easy A... But her big, the big thing with her was La La Land, where she won an Oscar for Best Actress. So, I think out of everyone in this cast, she's clearly been the most successful. I mean, Jesse Eisenberg, literally a year after Zombieland, 
he played Mark Zuckerberg in The Social Network, and he got nominated for an Oscar. In fact, everyone in this cast, these four, were all nominated for Oscars, and they showed that in the marketing campaign. I think the reason why they, they did that is because it's hilariously ironic that all these actors who did prestigious things are in this movie. <laughs> so, I mean, it does, you know, it does work, you know, when you think about it. And it's the only real comedy in the market. The royal, the only real R-rated comedy in the market. The last R-rated comedy to come out was Good Boys. And that did pretty decent. So, you know, the, the market's wide open for one of these movies. And I think Zombieland Double Tap will... I mean, it won't do amazing, but it'll make a solid impact. Cons, there's not too many cons about this movie. I mean, maybe this movie could be a bit front-loaded because, like, you know, the first Zombieland has such a, a, a strong fan following. It could hurt its potential sales, but that's more of a we-have-to-wait-and-see approach. You have to wait and see, you know, how front-loaded it is. I mean, if it has good legs, great. If it's super front-loaded, well... That's a shame, but I mean the movie only cost forty two million, so it's not gonna lose that much money. Oh, another positive forgot to mention is potential. I'm not saying this is gonna happen, but this movie could have potential overseas growth in comparison to its predecessor. Because the first zombie land did weak business overseas. But you know, since again, it's been ten years since that, you know, movies are a lot more international now. So there's a chance this could have higher grosses internationally, which will definitely help it. And yeah, that's pretty much it for Zombieland 2. Uh, opening weekend, I'm going to say $30 million. I think it will have a higher opening weekend than the first. If it doesn't, I'm going to be shocked. <laughs> I am. I will legit be shocked if it doesn't. And I'll be sad too because Zombieland was such a good movie. And I am interested in seeing this sequel because I love Zombieland so much. And overall, I'll probably reach, um, let's just say, if it does reach 30 million, then mm, 70 to 80 million total. So about on par with the first, which is fine. You know, fine. And it'll be way better than a lot of sequels this year. So, that's good. <laughs> so, yeah. That's Zombieland Double Tap. Next up, uh, a lot of movies that are just there. Movies that no one's going to pay much attention. People are not going to get much attention to these movies. Because, you know... it's Because next week, it's like the lull. Before the holiday season really kicks off. So, yeah. I guess next we have to do Black and Blue. Then Countdown. Then Current War. Then we can get on to more interesting stuff. So, yeah. That is all. Uh, make sure to subscribe. Like this video. Leave a comment. If you want to go check out my other predictions. I have a whole playlist of those. I have my Fall 2019 playlist. I want to look at past playlists. I have summer blockbusters, summer non-blockbusters. You can go watch those. You see how badly I screwed up on those. Because uh, it still keeps me up at night how bad I'm, how horrible I am at this job. But yeah, that is all. And I am out.